to Preps Today with John Millay. Not coincidentally, the start of the show is named John Millay. That's how we do things around here. We're very innovative. Uh, John, of course, the uh, prep sports and activities guru at mshsl.org. You can read his written work at John's Journal at that website. You can hear spoken word artistry here at talknorth.com. We're coming to you from the Aquarius Home Services Studio. We want to thank our longtime sponsors, Pizza Barn in Princeton, and our newest sponsor, Bay to Bay Boat Club. Uh, thanks to our producer, Brandon Morton. And John, let's get right into it here. It is April 17th, 2024. And tell me about the amazing Bob Carn. Let's do that, Jim. First, let me just briefly tell you, way to go from the Masters, man. You killed it oh, down thanks. there. And in your absence, I also want to thank, again, uh, Jace Frederick from the St. Paul Pioneer Press. He came on last week and did a good job. He's a busy guy covering Timberwolves, preps, everything in between. And again, you were you were great at the Masters, Jim. That was fun to keep up with everything. You just you did a great as you always do, you did a good job. And I know you had a good time down there. But yeah, the amazing Bob Karn. In your absence, I I spent some time talking to Bob Karn, visiting with Bob Karn on the phone and in person. He's the head baseball coach at St. Cloud Cathedral. He's not new to this. This is his fifty third year in that job. Bob is eighty two years old, a cathedral grad. Uh, lifetime English teacher who who was still in the classroom up until about a, a year or two ago. Just an amazing guy. Um, I've talked to Bob many times over the years, but I thought, you know, when you get to 53 years of high school baseball uh, coaching, let's 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 revisit Bob. So, talked to him on the phone for quite a long time the day before their season opener and then uh, went up to St. Cloud uh, for their season opener against Albany and talked to Bob before the game, a little bit even during the game and then afterwards. And and my story, which is on John's journal at mshsl.org, in that story I described him as an educator, a coach, a philosopher, and a guy who really believes in young people. And this guy is it's St. Cloud and Cathedral from top to bottom. He's lived in St. Cloud his entire life, other than a short stint in the National Guard during the Vietnam era. That That's how far back Bob goes. Um, it, he graduated from St. Cloud Cathedral in 1959. I was about six months old, and I'm 65. That, that, that's a little, that was weird, weird for me. That's when he graduated. He joined the faculty in 1969. Been the head baseball coach since 1971 when he was 29 years old. Here he is at 82, still doing it. And he's the winningest coach in state history. He's coached more years than anybody. Uh, Cathedral has won nine state championships and have been to state 20 times, most recently in 2018. Um, and, and, you know, clearly Bob's known around the state and in baseball circles as a coach, but He's beloved by generations of students that he's taught. He's he's really a renaissance man. He told me one of his favorite classes to teach was advanced placement literature. And, you know, he lectured on things like transcendentalism. Uh, you know, the, his, his students read The Great Gatsby, The Grapes of Wrath, all those classics. Uh, they tell me he had baseball posters in the classroom along with an Einstein poster. Uh, quite quite a uh, varied guy and a really remarkable person. And we wish many more seasons and good health to the great Bob Karn. Advanced literature. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, man, I tell you what, the people who taught me that those kind of courses in high school had a great influence on my life. That's fantastic stuff. Yeah, Bob's the kind of guy, if you looked at him in street clothes and were asked, what's this guy's profession? You'd say, oh, he's a college professor. Of, of philosophy or whatever. I mean, he's white hair, white beard, very soft-spoken. I, you know, I, I don't know if anybody's ever heard him raise this voice, but yeah, just a remarkable guy. That's fantastic. And by the way, thank you for, uh, thank you for the kind words about Masters and uh, yeah. great to have Jace on the network. Jace works like crazy, does a great job covering the Timberwolves and high school sports or whatever else they need him to do over there. Uh, they don't have many people working over there and they yeah. really lean heavily on Jace. So thanks to Jace and uh, highly recommend reading him and keeping up with him as the uh, Timberwolves playoffs go along here too. You bet. All right, let's get to basketball coaching news. Yeah, we had some interesting boys basketball coaching changes this week. Uh, Robbie Whitney 
a, a really a dynamite young coach. He's, uh, he's eight years out of high school, St. Francis High School, and he was just named the head boys basketball coach. People got to know him. He was at New Life Academy for two years, took that boys team to state both years, 2022, 2023. One of those years, they were the state runner up. So he's back at his alma mater, St. Francis, just, just a good, a good young guy, a great coach. And on the other end of the spectrum, <coughs> down south in Spring Grove, uh, Wade Grindy has been the, the head coach at Spring Grove of boys basketball for 29 years with, with one year as an assistant. And his assistant coach for years there is Tom Vicks, who had a Hall of Fame head coaching career at Rushford Peterson. Uh, those guys are stepping down. They, they've, they've put in decades and decades and are great people, great coaches. And when I saw these two news items, I thought, wait a minute, I, I wrote something about both of these, about Robbie Whitney and uh, Wade Grindy and Tom Vicks. I went back and found the story. Those two teams met in the Class A state semifinals in 2023. And I got looking at numbers, which is always dangerous for me when there's math involved. But that state semifinal game two years ago was Robbie Whitney's 64th career game as a head coach. And on the other bench, Wade and Tom, it was their 1,645th game which was pretty wild when I told those guys, wow. you, you know how many times you guys have, have been head coaches, how many they were astounded. And I had to repeat the number, 1,645 games. And they've been there for another year since then. So I, I reposted that original story and another little story about, about Robbie Whitney on John's Journal from the 2023 state tournament. Uh, they're, they're worth a look if you're interested in those stories. Excellent. All right. Now let's hear about state speech. Yeah, we have a state tournament. We we thought we wrapped up state tournaments and we did for the winter, but this is kind of the this is kind of the in between winter and spring and it's a great tournament. It's always a fun event. Uh students from all over the state gather for this this the biggest speech event of the year in Minnesota. We have two classes in speech and the schedule has class A schools competing Friday, class AA on Saturday. Oh, this is at Shakopee High School this year. So, uh, it's going to be great. These, it's a big event, you know, just hundreds of kids, coaches, parents, families come in, other students to watch. Uh, they basically spread out all over the school in classrooms and auditoriums. And, and this, a couple of days ago on Twitter, I posted a link to a story from Minnesota Public Radio. They did a great little feature about the speech team from Moorhead, which has won the last seven double-A team state championships. The Spuds are a speech dynasty. That's a great story. If you go to my Twitter, MSHSL John, you can find that uh, that link about the sport, the Moorhead Spuds speech team. Easy for me to say, Moorhead Spuds speech team. Good stuff. All right. Now, we're going to thank a rep. We're going to get a John's most valuable teammate. Uh, first, though, we want to let you know we are coming to you from the Aquarius Home Services Studio, and we want to thank our friends, including Jody Stay at Pizza Barn in Princeton, where we, we recently did a show. Yeah, that's right, Jim. A couple weeks ago, I think the week before you went to the Masters, we were up there in person. It's great to see Jody and everybody else there. We had some great pizza. I brought some of my uh, sausage pizza home. Uh, I was very popular with my wife because I did that, and that was our dinner that night. Uh, it's, it's just so great to be in there and, and catch up with Jody and everybody at the Pizza Barn. It's easy to get to if you're driving north or south on 169. Just veer off right down into the heart of downtown Princeton. It's definitely worth a stop. Uh, we're already past the midway point of April, so be sure to try that pizza of the month while you still can. It's the Cajun Po' Boy. Chef Shorty uses his own remoulade sauce, Cajun spiced shrimp, croutons made with the pizza barns, fresh bread. Like everything on the menu, you can get it for dine-in, take-out, take-and-bake, or delivery all month long. Way to go, and thank you to Jody and everybody at the Pizza Barn in Princeton. They've been part of our podcast for more than five years, and we, we couldn't be prouder. Yep, it was a blast to see Jody and her staff up there. She does such a great job. Highly recommend dropping by and tell them we sent you. All right, we uh, also want to thank our newest sponsor, Bay to Bay Boat Club. Bay to Bay Boat Club offers a limited number of season-long memberships in our private club and half-day or full-day pontoon boat rentals on Lake Minnetonka. 
Members have the opportunity to play on luxurious pontoon boats, as well as a variety of well-appointed deck boats, speed boats, and offshore boats. Our daily pontoon boats are deluxe, custom-built boats with many amenities and comfortable seating for up to 14 people. Beta Bay Boat Club, Country Club Boating, 24 years in business, and voted Minnesota's best three years in a row. Please visit us at betabayboatclub.com for more information. We look forward to welcoming you this summer. Now let's wrap up today's preps today with John Millay by doing something we can't do enough of, which is thanking a ref. Yeah, we are going to thank a bunch of refs here, Jim. Uh, this one was kind of has kind of been on my back burner since the boys' state basketball tournament. But at halftime of one of those games at Williams Arena this year, we had a little ceremony to recognize officials, longtime officials who've shown commitment and excellence. And uh, those, those officials are, uh, dis- they received what are called by the high school a distinguished service awards. Uh, the recipients were Tom Fisher of Anoka, Owen Gustafson of Maynard, Jim Hirsch of Bloomington, Paul Pranghofer of Golden Valley, Gary Seip of Rockford, and Rick Tibisar of West St. Paul. I know most of those, most of those folks, just great, great people, great servants, great officials. Congrats to them for their many years of dedication as high school officials. Yep. And thank you, John, for, uh, for coming up with the idea to thank refs. It's such a great idea. It's something we absolutely, yes. uh, we should do and we do it often thanks to you. Well, let's, now let's get to another set piece in this show. John's most valuable teammate. Yeah. This is just one of the best things we do at the high school league. In my opinion, uh, we honor a most valuable teammate every week during the school year, not a player, a most valuable teammate. This week, I'm going to talk about Jackson Green. He's a senior at Wyzetta, takes part in football and wrestling. He's a great student athlete and leader who makes sure all students feel included. Jackson goes out of his way to include others and supports all all students. He's caring. He's exceptional, classy, thoughtful, respectful, always kind to others. He makes others around him better every day. Jackson truly epitomizes the qualities for this award. So again, congrats to Jackson Green of Waconia on being named a most valuable teammate. Great stuff. And what, what do you have up on your your calendar right now? Yeah, Plenty you know, long drives ahead of you. Uh, possibly, Jim. You know, this year we we always look at the weather, and we've had some rain here. I think we're going to be good the rest of the week. We're talking on Wednesday afternoon. I think I'm going to be in Owatonna for a baseball game on Thursday. I think I'm going to be at North Branch for a track meet Friday, and I may also be at State Speech on Friday. Uh, if not, I'll be there Saturday, possibly both days. So yeah, it's uh, it's busting out all over. We're, things are really going to green up now with this latest rain, and we get some nice. If we can return to normal weather on uh, warmer temperatures, it's going to be it's going to be darn nice. Excellent. We'll have a lot to talk about here on this show. Uh, safe travels, John. Thanks for the great work as always. Thanks to everyone who listens to TalkNorth.com. We do appreciate it. Uh, from the Aquarius Home Services Studio, for John Malay, Brandon Morton, and myself, uh, thanks for listening.